All right, folks, welcome back to the Two Minute Drill. So Penn State versus Illinois, top 20 matchup in Happy Valley under the lights. White out energy for this one. Um, This was just a classic Big Ten battle, and that's the best way to describe this game. Penn State dominated Illinois in the trenches after giving up an early touchdown where their defense looked very discombobulated, very disjointed. Um, Illinois had a fantastic offense heading into this game. Luke Altmaier um, really looked like he was finally putting it all together, showing why he was a four-star recruit and originally going to Ole Miss down in the SEC. But in the end, Penn State, this environment, whiteout energy, and overall talent advantage and defensive structural advantage was just too much for Illinois to handle. You know it's going to be a tough game every time you play Illinois. Brett Bielema, one of the better coaches, pound for pound, in my opinion, in the country. Andy Kattelnick in the offense. Um, Many people might be a little bit down on him after this one, and honestly, I am a little bit too. Um, Did you just expect to see more out of the offense at this point in the season? You know, you wonder if those first couple weeks were fool's, fool's gold, um, Tyler Warren, Katron Allen, Nick Singleton were all fantastic in this one. Um, Abdul Carter really turned it on in the second half. Tony Rojas, Zane Durant, just a few players, in my opinion, who really stood out on that defense. Sander and the kicking game, man, it's got to get better. It really has to get better. The guy has no confidence out there, and that's going to hurt them in big games. It's going to hurt them in the big ones, and with USC coming up, Ohio State coming up, you know, you got to get that fixed. Even a team like Wisconsin, these things have to be corrected, and he's got to be better. He's got to get that confidence back. Can't tear him him down too much, but he needs to be more confident. We got UCLA at home 